What's up folks, welcome back to another tutorial. I know y'all been wanting some more tutorials and how to fix stuff. So today I'm coming back with a how to clear your 5M cache tutorial. This is gonna help y'all out with uh, getting more FPS and all that good stuff. Um, it's a very simple thing. We're not gonna make this a whole 10 minute video or nothing. And so it's just gonna be like a couple minutes and I'm gonna teach y'all some secrets and all that good stuff. It's gonna be good. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your window. You can either hit your windows button on your keyboard or you can actually go down here where it says start and click that little windows button. So file explorer might be pinned. So you just want to hit file explorer right here or you can just type in a, the bar file explorer. It'll come up Hit that. You should already know how to get to your file explorer. I'm not going to lie to you. So once this is open, you just want to drag this over here and then hit that minus button. We're going to keep that for later. You're going to go back to your start. And then you're gonna hit 5M. You're gonna type in 5M and it says 5M right here. It's gonna pull up. And then you wanna hit open file location. Once you open that, you can make it a little bit bigger just so you can see everything. Or you can go full screen. I don't know. Um, so once you see that, it will come right here and it will automatically highlight the 5M like that. As you can see, it's highlighted. So the one that's highlighted, you would just right click on it and then hit open file location again. And then you would hit 5M application data, you would actually click into that and then you'll see all this stuff. It'll say Citizens FX and they'll have all these folders right here. And this is where it becomes easy. Um, and I'm gonna teach you the secret in a minute, but let's just go ahead and show you how to clear your cache if that's just what you wanna do. So you will go into your data's folder and then you will see uh, cache and then you will see uh, server cache and then server cache priv or priv you can call it private or priv or whatever so you will see cache you will see server cache you will see server cache priv or priv whatever you want to call it actually highlight those two at the bottom you want to delete it you can see it says recycling 8,000 items this is where you would get FPS you delete your cache folder as well I just deleted all that as you can see, it's all inside here, inside the trash can. You will actually empty your recycling bin, delete these eight items, and boom. I just deleted 17 gigabytes. You probably didn't see it. If you want to rewind it and then pause, you can see I deleted 17 gigabytes. Now you should have FPS, but I'm going to show you something different before we end off the video. You want to go back to your file explorer that I had you hit the minus button on. So you want to make that full screen and then um, you want to actually hit your windows button again, go to 5M and then hit open file location and then open file location again. And then right here where it says 5M application data, instead of going through that, that entire open file location thing, I want you to pin this, pin this to quick access. Once you do that, it just took it away from me. But when I, when I do it again, when I pin the quick access, Look what it did. It put it right here so it's pinned. So I can actually go into it like that. I can actually just click into it. So I'm say I'm in my downloads and then I go to 5M application data. I can go into it without doing that whole Windows opening stuff. So that's a little hack. You could do that same thing for Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, your main directory. So what you want to do for the Grand Theft Auto directory, you want to go to Windows. Oops, I just opened up Steam. You want to go to uh, Program Files. You want to go to uh, uh, Steam, don't go to Rockstar Games, go to Steam. And then you go down here to Steam Apps. When you go to Steam Apps, you go to Common. And then you see Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. That's the same folder that's over here. So you want to actually, don't click into it, but you want to highlight over it, right click, and then hit Pin to Quick Access. Once you do that, it's going to be over there with your 5 application data. So actually, you can just go straight into your, your you don't have to go into any of the, the Windows C drive. You don't have to go into any of that. So you got your whole Grand Theft Auto main directory and you got your five M application data. Now you can do this for anything, anything that you need the quick access, you need to get straight to just go ahead and click that folder and then um, hit pin the quick access It's going to go right here on the side with everything, everything that you need. So you're good. That's a secret. That's a little hack that I got for you. Um, hope y'all wasn't looking at my downloads. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you drop uh, some comments on what you want to see next. I've been getting a whole bunch of requests and I apologize for not uh, following through with these requests and not releasing videos uh, recently. So 
I'm going to get back into that, the whole tutorial situation. I'm going to get back into that. And I'm going to get back into the five and role play as soon as possible. But, you know, I've just been doing a whole lot of stuff, um, working on a whole lot of projects. So I appreciate y'all for uh, hanging in there. So with nothing else being said, this is the end of the video. I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, peace out.